In the heart of Sumer, where the Euphrates cradled ancient civilizations, loomed the e Kur, the mountain house of Enlil, lord of wind and sky. It was a place of immense power, a nexus where earth met heaven. But shadows crept into this hallowed ground. Enlil, once a benevolent force, a god who brought life and fertility, was changing. A darkness was consuming him, a hunger for power that grew with each passing aeon. His once gentle winds turned tempestuous, his blessings became curses. The land, once lush and bountiful, withered under his wrath. The people of Nippur, his devoted worshippers, trembled in fear. Their once proud city became a ghost town, its streets echoing with the wails of despair. The Eker, once a beacon of hope, now cast a menacing shadow over the land. Ninlil, the goddess queen, watched her husband's descent into madness with a heart heavy with sorrow. She knew the Enlil she loved was still there, trapped within the monstrous shell of the god he had become. Yet, every attempt to reach him was met with storms of fury. Rumors spread like wildfire. Enlil was said to be conspiring with the dark gods, beings from the abyss who sought to plunge the world into eternal night. Their whispers of chaos found fertile ground in the hearts of the terrified people. In the depths of the Eker, a secret chamber existed, a place of ancient power. It was said that within its heart lay the tablets of destiny, artifacts capable of controlling the very fabric of reality. Enlil, in his madness, sought these tablets, believing they would grant him absolute dominion over the cosmos. As the shadow of Enlil grew longer, so too did the hope of the people dwindle. Yet, among them, a flicker of resistance remained. A group of brave souls led by a young priestess named Anahita vowed to confront the god king. Their mission was perilous, for to enter the Eker was to invite death. But the fate of the world hung in the balance. Would they succeed in saving Enlil from the darkness that consumed him? Or would the god's wrath consume them all, plunging the world into an eternal night? The fate of Sumer, and perhaps the cosmos itself, rested on the outcome of this desperate gamble. Anahita, a woman of unwavering faith and courage, led her small band of hopefuls. Their hearts pounded like war drums as they approached the Eker. Its once resplendent spires now seemed to pierce the heavens with a sinister intent. As they drew closer, a chilling wind howled around them, carrying with it the scent of sulphur and despair. Inside the temple, darkness reigned. The once holy halls were now cloaked in shadow, punctuated only by the eerie glow of arcane symbols etched into the walls. With each step, the air grew heavier, thick with an unseen malevolence. As they ventured deeper, the temperature plummeted and the ground trembled beneath their feet. The group huddled together, their fear a palpable force. Anahita raised her voice, a beacon of hope in the encroaching darkness. Fear not, she cried, her voice echoing through the cavernous halls. Enlil, our lord, is lost, not evil. We shall find him and restore his light. Her words, though filled with bravery, held a tremor of uncertainty. As they pressed on, they heard a distant, guttural growl, a sound that chilled their blood. The ground shook violently, and the walls began to crack. The group was forced to scatter as the temple began to collapse around them. Debris rained down, and the darkness seemed to close in from all sides. Anahita, separated from her companions, found herself alone in a chamber bathed in an unnatural blue light. Before her, on a stone altar, lay the Tablets of Destiny. As she reached out to touch them, a voice, deep and resonant, echoed through the chamber. You dare to defy me, mortal, the voice was in Lil's. But it was distorted, filled with a rage that shook the very foundations of the temple. Anahita's heart pounded in her chest, but she did not falter. Enlil, she began, her voice steady, you are a god of life, not death. The people suffer because of you. We come in peace to restore you. Enlil's laughter echoed through the chamber, a sound both terrifying and pitiful. Peace, he sneered. Peace is a myth, a dream for the weak. Power is the only truth. As he reached out to claim the tablets, Anahita threw herself between him and the artifacts. In that moment, a blinding light erupted from within her, a light born of pure, unwavering faith. 
the temple shook violently and a deafening roar filled the air. When the light faded, Enlil was gone and the tablets of destiny were shattered. Outside, the storm that had raged over Nippur began to subside. The first rays of dawn broke through the clouds, casting a golden glow over the ruined temple. Hope, fragile but enduring, began to return to the hearts of the people. Anahita had saved her world, but at what cost?